When we think about prehistoric predators, few are as iconic as the saber-toothed cat. But did you know that they were not the only animals that evolved those deadly dagger-shaped killing tools? Saber-toothed animals are a classic case of convergent evolution, where different, unrelated groups evolve similar traits to adapt to similar ecological roles. Throughout Earth's history, the saber-toothed form has independently evolved at numerous times across various lineages, each from distinct evolutionary backgrounds. These animals, ranging from primitive ancestors of mammals to actual mammals, developed saber-like canine teeth to efficiently hunt large prey. The first saber-toothed animals emerged during the late Permian period in a group of synapsids which were a large primitive group of animals that included the mammals. Known as Gorgonopsids, these non-mammalian animals, particularly species like Inostransivia, had long, blade-like canine teeth and were the dominant predators of their time. Some of these predators were fearsome indeed, the largest skulls found are nearly half a meter long. Their saber teeth were likely used for efficiently dispatching large prey in their ecosystems. The Gorgonopsids evolved saber teeth for the same reason as later saber-toothed mammals, to take down large, robust herbivores. Thylacosmolus, a mammal which was closely related to the marsupials was a predator that lived in South America from a period of about 10 million to 3 million years ago. Unlike the saber-toothed tiger, it was not a felid and independently evolved saber-like teeth that superficially resembled those iconic animals. Its long, curved canines extended below its jaw, which also jutted downward in a distinct flange or projecting edge which probably gave them extra protection and support. Barbarophelids, also called false saber-tooths, are part of the extinct family Barbarophelidae, which lived during the Miocene epoch around 7.9 million years ago. These animals resembled cats but were not part of the modern felid family. Barbarophelids evolved saber teeth independently, again showing convergent evolution with other saber-toothed predators like Smilodon. They were comparable in size to the modern-day African lion. Their powerful build and elongated canines made them specialized hunters of large prey, much like true saber-toothed cats. The most famous saber-toothed lineage belongs to the Macarodontini, a subfamily of the true cats. This group includes the iconic Smilodon, often simply called the saber-toothed cat, which lived during the Pleistocene epoch. Macarodonts had exceptionally long, flattened canines and robust bodies designed for tackling large prey like bison and mammoths. These predators are the most recent example of saber-toothed animals and represent the pinnacle of saber-tooth evolution in mammals. Despite their success, they eventually went extinct due to environmental changes and the loss of large prey at the end of the Ice Age. Let's move on to some honorable mentions in our saber-tooth list. The tiny deltatheroids represent one of the earliest instances of saber-like dentition among mammals and resembled modern-day rodents. The final set of members of the saber-tooth club were the oxyenids which had relatively short faces and powerful limbs, perhaps resembling badgers, wolverines, and bears. The repeated evolution of saber-toothed forms in multiple different lineages of animals is a remarkable example of convergent evolution. These diverse groups, each responding to the challenge of hunting large prey, independently developed elongated canines and similar predatory adaptations. Although the saber-toothed form has appeared several times throughout Earth's history, the extinction of these lineages underscores how environmental change and prey availability can shape the rise and fall of even the most fearsome predators.